of course, most Icelanders think there are no ants in Iceland, and as I thought when I came. But we actually have, at least in this research, like our research, we found like five different species that they properly settled in Iceland. We know that they have come with all the fish to me, but they have found it in 1970. Likely, they have found it in the other, and they were first to me to grind it. And I always loved ants in my previous life, since I was a kid. But then I fell in love with this country when I came, but that was the only country in the world that I know there were no ants in. So I was like, it's impossible, and I didn't want to give up, and I did not accept the idea of not having ants around me. So I started to look around, and I got the idea of like contacting pest control agents to see if they were getting like colds related to insects or ants. And after I tried with a few of them, we're not really into the insect business. Then I found one. We are still collaborating. He's a great guy. It's like to have an idea about diversity and distribution of ants, for now in the capital area. But we do know for sure there are ants in Akureyri, and we know for sure there are ants in Selfos and Kvergerdi. So for now we are focused on this like southern west part, like Reykjavik and around there, like Borgarnes and Selfos. And then we'll see if maybe a future PhD program will be on like the whole island. The most common one is called Ipoponera. They're the ones in Iceland you call Husamur. And they are the ones that have been found in 1974. They make super colonies. So we believe and we think there might be a super colony living underground Reykjavik in the sewer system because they need you know, the heat and humidity. And then they get into this apartment and then they move through the sewer system and then they get to another building and so on. So we're, go we're planning to try to run some DNA tests and see how genetically similar like workers are and see if we can talk about a super colony or if they are distinct colonies. And then we have the, um, another species like black ants, they're called Lasius niger, and they, they are the ones that are living already outdoor. They are in some gardens in Vesturbair and in other places in Gardabair. So those are the ones we are trying to see if they can be considered like native. And then we have another species called pharaoh ant, like Monomorium pharaonis, and they can represent a threat because they can carry pathogens like Salmonella or Streptococcus. So they're like a big problem if they infest, especially hospitals or like public places. But they're still like the distribution is still quite limited. So we only got a few cases in this couple of years. And then we have another species, which is this one called ghost ant, um, um, Tapinoma melanchephalum. And they're super tiny, as you can see, and they're super fast and they can very easily move the colony if they don't find what they need, like food or temperature gradient. But we found them in just one building. It infested the whole building, but we've been able to collect the whole colony. It was basically under like a flower pot in a living room. So from there it was going to the balcony and then moving around the, old, the whole building. We are talking about species that are considered highly invasive, like all over the world. So, and there are many others, so as they made it, I'm pretty sure others can make it. Maybe some others are already here and we didn't find them yet. We are on Facebook, Instagram and on the other side, which is where we can have a relationship with you. And that's the best thing that we can have a relationship with you. Because the more people who have a relationship, the 
víðtækra verið kortið okkar og þá getum við betur kortlagt alla útreysna.